Hey crafters, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to show you how to improve your scene cards by adding in a perspective. Hope you enjoy! So I had an idea to make a scene card with some of the new Lavinia stamps, but I wanted to challenge myself and add in a perspective to make the scene even better. So I'll show you what I did and hopefully that will inspire you to give it a go. So I started by using some masking sheets from Lavinia Stamps and I stamped on the tree stem three times. Now I'm using a Memento Tuxedo Black ink because it dries quickly and I find that it takes a few moments for the ink to dry on masking sheets so I don't want the image to smudge. Then I stamped the new pumpkin carriage stamp from Lavinia Stamps. And then I cut out all four of these images. Now the pumpkin carriage has a lot of fiddly bits on it. So I didn't bother cutting out any of these. I just cut around the wheels, around the main pumpkin and the beginning of the pumpkin stock. The rest of it can go on top of the background once I've added the inks. So it's not really that important to mask off those viney, flourishy bits. Now the inside of the wheels, it would be ideal if we could cut out those, but that's too fiddly. So I'll just color in those parts with my markers after I'm finished. But you'll see as we go along. So I just placed the pumpkin carriage stamp roughly where I want it to be, just so that I could eyeball where I want to place the lamps and the pathway. So I'm using some stamps from the new lamp set, and I'm going to stamp three on the left side of the pathway, and I'm using the larger ones for this side. And on the other side of the pathway, I'm going to use the other lamp, it's kind of a round type lamp and I'm just eyeballing where I want it to go and then I'm going to add three of those on the right side as well. And to help with our perspective I'm making these lamps gradually further apart so the ones at the bottom are the furthest apart. Now I'm going to add in my tree stems and I added three of these and I'm gradually moving the tree stem down and that helps to further the perspective. On the last one, I'm just going to stamp so that it's half off the side of the card and half on the card. Now I did get a little brown smudge there beside the second tree, but I'm not worried because it will be covered up by the pathway. Now I'm going to color in all the lights and I used Copic markers for this, just a combination of yellows and then a little bit of gray for the top of those three lamps. Next, I used my Distress Embossing Pen and colored over all six of the lamps. And then I used some clear embossing powder over top of all the lamps. And this helps to create a mask over those areas so that I can add ink behind them. And I just used a paintbrush to get any excess embossing powder off. And then I heat set this with my heat tool. I prefer to heat from the back and that way I don't have my embossing powder flying everywhere. So once I was completely finished heat setting that, I stamped the pumpkin carriage. And I did this in Memento Tuxedo Black ink because I plan to color it in with my alcohol markers. Now I wanted the first two lamps that we stamped to be in front of the carriage and by masking them with the clear embossing powder, it really does look like they are in front as you'll see when I remove this. So now I can put on the pumpkin carriage mask and I'll also put on the masks on all the trees, the tree stems. Now the great thing about using these sheet masks is that if you find that your mask is in the wrong place, it's easy enough to pick it up and put it down again. 
so they do stay sticky for more than one use. So I'm going to put all the masks on and just adjust them as need be. And I'm tucking the excess bits behind the background because I plan to reuse these masks later on. And once the trees and the pumpkin carriage are all covered, then I can start adding in my background colors, which is my favorite part. So I used Distress Ink for the background and I started with adding the ink around the pumpkin carriage. So I'm putting the ink on the mask first and then dragging it outwards. And then with my second color, I put some ink down first and then I blended it in later on. And I wanted to choose some colors that would look good in the scene, but also that were quite optominal. So that's why I went with oranges, yellows, and reds. These colors together create a great sunset, and they are quite mystical and work well with this pumpkin carriage, as you will see. So when I added in the red, I made sure to go over the tree stem mask as well. And then I went back and forth between my, my colors and blended them together. One of my favorite distress colors is Aged Mahogany. And I added this around the top of the card as it's a naturally darker shade of red than the candied apple. So I put this all along the top edge and the right hand side of the card, but I wanted to add a little bit of space to add in some black soot on the right hand side. And I think that by working outwards from the pumpkin carriage with the colors gradually getting darker, I think this also helps to add in that perspective into the background. So in this card, I didn't use a mask for the ground, but I'm just following the shape of the trees and putting the ink as far down as the base of the tree. Now, once I was happy with the top part of my scene, I decided to flip it over to add in the ink on the bottom. So where those three lamps are, I just needed a bit of ink in there. And I used the same darker colors, the black soot and the aged mahogany. And I left a middle part, which is my pathway in between the lamps. And as you can see, it very gradually gets bigger towards the bottom of the card. So this is where I added in my vintage photo distress ink. And I didn't worry too much about overlap because I'm going to um, add some more stamps and stenciling, as you'll see, to help solidify the edges of that pathway. So it doesn't matter at this point if the pathway is hard to define. So one of the great things about Distress Ink is that it reacts to water. So what I did is I took a paper towel and soaked it and then placed the pebble stencil from Lavinia Stamps over top of my whole background. And then I just dabbed on the pathway through the stencil where that pebble stencil was overlapping on the path. So wherever I put the vintage photo distress ink. I also laid the paper towel down, I rubbed it, and I blotted it a few different times until enough of that water went through the stencil to give a really neat effect. And then I removed the stencil and I waited a few seconds this helps the ink to react to that water. And then I use my heat tool to help set this pattern. And you can really see it come to life now, the contrast between where the pebble stencil was and the areas without the pebble stencil. And once this was completely dry, I removed all of the masks and I just love this part of card making because you can see all your hard work is paying off. 
So in with the lamps set, there are two little sets of mushrooms. So I used some pine cone ink and stamped these, and this also helps to define the edge of the pathway. So I used the smaller of the two mushrooms and stamped them along the pathway. And I've sort of went around the lamps and focused more on around the trees and the bottom part of the card. And I should mention that I colored the pumpkin carriage and trees off camera and I just used my Copic markers for that. And I focused on making the trees gradually darker towards the bottom right of the card. So that also helps adding in our perspective. So once I was happy with all these tiny little mushrooms... I used one of the masks from Lavinia Stamps. This is the one that uh, is great for making pathways. And I just used that and added some more pine cone ink between the trees, adjusting the mask as I went on, and then all along the bottom of the path as well. And I also added a bit on either side of that pumpkin carriage. And I think that really helps as well just having that hint of a dark line around the pathway. Lastly, I used some nocturne ink and added in some oak leaves. These are the oak tree flourish stamps. There's two stamps in the set from Lavinia Stamps. And I just stamped the smaller oak leaf first and then added in the larger one. And I just wanted the leaves to look like they were hanging down from the trees. And um, I added more and put the leaves lower as I moved from left to right. Some of this does get covered up by the sentiment, but I still think it's helpful for making the scene a bit fuller and more interesting. So for my sentiment, I started with a piece of paper that's bigger than my sentiment, and I covered it with antique linen distress ink. Now I just put a little bit of that ink on, not too much, and then I used the sentiment from Lavinia Stamps that says, Once Upon a Dream, and I stamped this with the Nocturne ink. And I wanted the sentiment to look a bit old, like it's on old paper or an old sign. So once I cut this down, leaving a bit spare on either side of the sentiment, I used the vintage photo ink and just distressed this around the edges. And I just love the look of those two colors, the vintage photo and the antique linen. They work so well together. And then lastly, I used one of my brown Copic markers and just drew in some circles that could be nails that are holding a sign on my card. Just perfect. And then I added that onto my card. After a few tries, I decided to put it in the top right, just over top of those tree stems. So I put some double-sided foam squares on the back of this sentiment just to make it pop up. And then I secured the entire front to a five by seven inch card base. And I like to line up one side. So I lined up the left-hand side and the top of the card just in case my card blank is a different size from my background, which it was here, as you can see, the excess pieces. So I just cut those off, off camera. And on the inside of this card, I just stamped the pumpkin carriage again in that pine cone ink. And then I used the smaller of the two oak leaf flourishes and stamped that below the pumpkin carriage, again in that pine cone ink. And this way, this card can be for any occasion. 
Now the last thing I did on this card is I wanted to add a little bit of sparkle to that pumpkin carriage just to make it a little bit more mystical. So I used my Spectrum Noir sparkle pen and I colored over the entire pumpkin carriage with the clear glitter pen. And as I hold it up to the light in a moment, you can see the sparkle from that sparkle pen. It's a lot easier to see in real life. And I know the recipient will love it. So now you can see the finished card with that perspective and the inside as well. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this video inspiring. If you haven't already, please subscribe so that you're notified whenever I post a new video. Have a crafty day!